your grown ass women hosts myself lisa marie baron nikki james and we are celebrating the month of nwa in power it's going to be a great episode today but before we get into it we want to make sure that you do a couple favors for us first of all make sure that you like this video thumbs up mm -hmm. yep make sure that you are subscribed to our channel that's probably the most important and of course everyone's favorite make sure to click that bell icon ring a ding ding Thank you, Lisa and Mickey for that makeshift bell there uh, to enable notifications so you never miss a future episode of Gaw TV. And not only that, you guys, you can listen to us on podcast form, which we call it the Godcast. It's the unedited version, so you can hear us flub up and do the recounting, all the stuff that you don't get to see on our 30-minute YouTube show. And also, guess what? My favorite part is the after party for the Patreon members. Patreon.com slash Gaw TV, baby. Yes. You get to Zoom chat with us. 6 p.m. Eastern, top of the hour, right after the show. All Patreon members are welcome, so don't miss it. Top of the hour to ya. Top of the hour, all are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of that, we have to say a huge shout out. You know, we'll keep Plugsky here for Legacy Subs and her legacy, keeping us in the great shape. I'm trying to get back in shape, you guys. I have a big match coming up. We uh, are. Wow. Jesus we Christ. Well, just this one is really good. This one is kind of like, it's it's just getting there. Oh, but good. Legacy Subs, her legacy, use code GOLF today. Um, also, what else? What else? You know what? I was going to say my makeshift bell. This is two weeks in a row that I've had a makeshift bell. And this is my, you know, makeshift bell. Um, totally. What about the GOLF song? The For Empower, GOLF song being the song of the official pay-per-view, Empower. And we are in the entire month of Empower. So I have, ladies, I've lined up a very special guest for us. Ooh, as you us, know, we, oh, as you know, we are bringing back for the first time in 34 years, almost 35 years, the NWA Women's Tag Team Championships. Yes, right here. You're going to put it right there. Um, the Women's first. Tag Team Chip. Whoa, whoa, we whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, Lisa's yeah. chips been impressed. No doubt. And we have four incredible teams announced to compete, to break down, to find out who the first ever in 30 some years, 35 plus years, first ever NWA women's tag team champions of the world. And one group of these ladies are here today. They are Renee Michelle, Sahara Seven. They are Hell on Heels. Ooh, love that title too. I love it too. I love, I love that. Did they come up with that? I, I'd like to ask them that. Yeah, well, that's a good I don't know. Here, ladies and gentlemen, let's get him into Gaw TV. Double trouble. Double, Double trouble. trouble. <laughs> so wonderful to have you. How are we feeling tonight? Great. Wow, they oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. You know, Mickey, I have to tell you, every single person you've booked is such a star and so gorgeous. And look at this tag team right here. Oh I my know. gosh. I, yeah. Money, money, yeah. money, money, money. Money. <laughs> well, look, great. But our favorite part of the show is to introduce our guests and ask them, who are you wearing and what are you drinking? Either one of you can go first, but our guests of honor should go first for sure. Oh, oh, what am I wearing? Okay, so I got this from Fashion Nova, believe it or not. There's like other companies that's like, you know, really like high end, too pricey. I kind of feel like, you know, the clothes, the clothes don't make the people, we make the clothes. So Fashion Nova, it's very, very comfy. It's like a three set piece and it's not bad. It's super cheap, but it's worth it. I love that. And I am actually wearing, this is actually my grandma's shirt. Rest in peace to my grandma. So this is actually her shirt. I have the sleeves rolled up. Um, it's comfy for me. Uh, my grandma is my hero in real life. So this is her shirt. Uh, this is from Fashion Nova. It's a little one piece like sleepwear. Um, like she said, I love Fashion Nova because it's cute and affordable. And like nobody ever knows that it's Fashion Nova until I tell them. Um, and we're both kind of wearing like our beads from our heritage and like, yeah, I have like the African pendant. She has her beads. I have like my, they're called like the Aliki beads. Um, it's from the religion I was born under, which is Santeria, but the actual term is called Lukumi. So I'm in the process of becoming a high priest. And for me, I have on the Eye of Horus, um, Egyptian culture. 
Uh, my sister, uh, Lovely, she actually made this bracelet. It has a uh, lioness head on it. Um, so she actually makes uh, waist beads and bracelets if anybody wants one. But yes. yes. Here's and what, and how do we order that? What, what's her, her, what's her website? So um, we her website is lovelywasted.com. And uh, yeah. she makes waist beads. She makes uh, necklaces. She makes uh, bracelets. Um, like I have the evil eye on both of them. This one's a cross with the different color, multicolored evil eye. Yeah, and I have yeah. like, for my religion. I have it yeah. like all over. I love that. Oh, you know, I, I love talk that. Very lovely and wasted I too. some time. I don't know about you, lady. Yeah. I like to be lovely and wasted all the time too. <laughs> Sing, <Val. laughs> Sing. Oh yeah, and we're drinking some Japanese plum wine. Plum wine. Ooh, gorgeous. Plum. Oh, is it so plum it's delicious? sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's oh my god, it's so good. It's a uh, Takari plum. Plum wine. Oh. Nice. That's you the get first time we've had is something Japanese. Yes. First time we had Japanese. Yes. Yeah, we we love Japan. That's our second. I miss home. it. It's my second. Yeah, our second. Home. That's our second home. So that's amazing. Y'all yeah, came fancy. I love that, Mickey. Uh, we have to ask, who are you wearing, and what are you imbibing on tonight, lady? Um. Well, I feel so out of the loop because I'm the only one not drinking. I'm drinking a, a an exciting Pepsi Mango Zero Sugar. Oh. Mango oh. and Bongo. I never oh. heard of it. <laughs> Burr, burr, get out! Get out! Yeah. Hell no! I you <laughs> she said, "Get out!" Look, we had green tea. We had I, I mean, and I got this that. on. My son is my sunshine. Oh, oh, yeah. And I and I teach uh, Sahara how to make a uh, matcha latte. Yeah, matcha latte. I love matcha. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, uh, if you guys ever come over, I'll make it for you all the time. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. Done. They put a little shot of yeah. vodka in it, you know, just for good measure. Lisa, yeah, yeah. And, and I recognize what cooking. you're wearing, by just the way. Just put the whole bottle in it. Yeah, and I love cooking, so you'll be fed, oh. too. Oh, oh, we're totally, we're going to be there. You yep. do, we've just invited ourselves to your house, that's for sure. We, yeah. did. we, we have them in your rooms. Come <laughs> over. <laughs> love it. Lisa, I noticed a few uh, familiar letters on your shirt there. Does that have anything to do with... Uh, oh, well, you know... Since we have the tag team here, you know, uh, Brooke Tessmacher and I, we called ourselves TNT, and boom goes the dynamite. Tara and Tessmacher, but she likes to say Tessmacher and Tara because, you know, she likes, she likes to get her shit in, to be honest with you. But, yeah. but I'm like, I so appreciate I'm just drinking. Um, Val got me on this new wine. Um, can you see it? This little glare. Chateau Saint Jean. Is it Jean? Do I say that? Yep, yep. Okay, and I'm sorry, I've been drinking that, but interesting enough, my mom was born in Korea, raised in Japan. So Japan is my favorite place on the planet, on the planet. So yes, I, I, I just, yeah. And then I also know, you know, Renee, you helped me with my makeup one time in the, in the bathroom. Do you remember how like I messed up my makeup and you're like, yes. uh, you might have to start all over. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Where was yeah, that? I, I'll be Look, I'll be honest, like, I feel like women, we should be helping each other is already hard as women, you know, trying, trying to be looking good in this business as it is, you know, there's some that won't help and let others look like a, like a vagabond, but I'm like, no, bitch, like, if I have to look good, you have to look good too, like, we both look yeah. good together. Making that for the common purpose, right? And like if somebody in, you know, say we were in Impact Wrestling, if somebody was representing the brand, then that makes us all look bad. If they're looking like exactly. I look like vagabond, that's hysterical. Nobody wants to like that. That's her favorite uh, word, vagabond. That is her favorite vagabond. word. Hashtag Hers vagabond. is vagabond and mine's is broody poop. Like, I'd be like, oh, you look so broody poop right now. Like, get yourself together. Yeah. I love, it. I love it. I'm being very boring tonight, ladies. I'm having my usual slimline rosé. It's fabulous. Rosé all day. Yes, Val. Okay, all day. You, you guys also got to try this. Um, It's like a red blend, but it's called Black Cloud. You'll love it. Mm. Oh, I never had it. Nope. Yeah, it's called Black Cloud Red Blend. It's one of my favorites. I love that. I'm just wearing some new look as well. And actually, I was really excited about this necklace. It's like a doubled up chain, but it's it's kind of just falling into the background. It's interesting, right, when you're actually dressing for camera, because in person, I think you guys would like it. But on camera, it looks like it's just fading. But but I just <laughs> The outfit. But your lipstick, your lipstick is amazing, it's, Val. I've never yes. seen you with that kind. I don't go this dark a lot, but I thought, you know, why not have a little bit of drama? Why not? It yes, come to the dark side, honey. I would love this Thank you. Come to the dark side. Mickey, because Mickey, 
we have been dedicating this entire month of God TV. If you guys have been watching, hopefully, you know that this is the month of Empower. We are talking all about this amazing pay-per-view, but Mickey, I know you're so excited to have these ladies a part of it. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, I, I just can't wait because honestly, I've been, I've known Renee since she started kind of at Maryland Championship Wrestling, which I have a lot of love and history from. And I remember wrestling Renee in some of your first matches. You yes. know, and you were wrestling yes. like a year or two years, I think at that point. Yeah, I, was like the, a I was like a year. Yeah, I was like a year in. And then like when I first got little baby Renee, I was like so nervous. <laughs> like she's the only one that gets me nervous in the ring. I don't know what it is, but there's something about Mickey. Oh God. I'm gonna tell on myself. Would... Yeah. I'm gonna tell on myself. I was actually in the background because I had just started training after at Ground Zero in Richmond. I was there when Mickey and, and Renee wrestled at Zero Hour One. It was me oh. and now Big School. I was just now debuting at Ground Zero. So I actually got That's to watch so funny. these two. And yeah, wow. that's, that's like, crazy. That? I didn't even know that part. That's yeah. exciting. Oh, we're well, all welcome. I'm, I'm so like excited. Hiding. Yay. <laughs> I mean, no, I think it's so amazing. And I think the two of you together, like this now, as people can see it, they can see you two together on camera. And I know you all tagged before, but to be able to present yourselves now for NWA in this place, I mean, I'm super stoked because we kind of, here we are in a whole new space and a place that we can all kick ass. And do you, now that we've rolled out, obviously it's a tag team tournament. So these four teams, the teams of yourselves, of the yeah. Hex, Allison and Marty Bell. There is the team of the free babes of the second generations, Miranda Gordy, um, Jazzy yeah. Yang and Hollywood Haley J. And yeah. the last and final team would be from AEW, AEW representing and Kylan King and Red Velvet. So Ooh, yes. Really? So I'm really excited. And, I'm super excited. Okay, I, I think it's well, four. I, um, go, go I, I would like you told us, Mickey, beforehand that you guys are roommates. That's, yeah. I, I, that's I, amazing. I, I, I convinced her to come down to live with me in Florida. Yay. In Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Any we regret? from Any Virginia. regrets? <laughs> no, no, no. no. No, 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 I, I take that back. One regret. Uh, one regret. I can't tell her nothing because then she goes, Carly said, da, 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 da. And I'm like, you tell, and, like, we're like sisters. So it's like she tells on me, like, all the time. And I'm like, why are you telling? Like, I can't tell. Like, the other day we're watching TV and I like said something slick and she goes and tells her husband what I said. And I'm just like, oh, I turn is. around immediately and I'm go, I can't tell you nothing. No, no. Yeah. no Cause it's like, you were nervous about your match and everything. And of course I couldn't help myself but take this an opportunity. I was like, make her even more nervous. <laughs> like, what, kind of, what kind of sister is that, man? Like, and then like, I was like, I can't tell you nothing. I was like, nothing. Cause you're screaming in the background about your match. Oh my okay. God. It was a great opportunity. My sister, but that's there. cool that there's a sister like there. There's obviously good chemistry there. So if you guys, your great friends, roommates, how do you, how would you describe yourself as a tag team? I mean, sometimes when you're working with someone that you're that close with, it can be good or bad. Do you guys think you mesh well as a team? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I like to describe us like, um, I don't know if you guys play video games, but like Mortal Kombat, she's Katana, I'm Jade. I, it's always like the the protector, like if she if something's wrong with her, I'm right there, like to be like, who made it, who did it, like I'll and fight the same, them. And same thing, and I'm like, like, you need me to run them over. Yeah, it's like it's always like a <laughs> we've got each other's back, like sisters. <laughs> and so I think as a tag team, it's always like where one is like where one is getting like low on energy, the other one's like right there to be like, hey, like you know, like we got this. Like if you need me, like call me, I got this. Like, yeah, I'll I, bring it home for. I us. always tell her like. If you call me, make sure you don't like them no more. Oh my God. Don't get her started on that story. Exactly. Exactly. What, what exactly. Is this There's a story there. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's so, so there was this guy that I was dating for a while, and mm. he was not very fond of my wrestling career. And wrestling means a lot to me. And so it was kind of one of those things where he was very insecure. And so it got to the point where it was not a good situation to be in. I was calling Renee every day crying. And I was just like, I don't know what to do because I'm a person, I'm, I have extreme loyalty. 
And when my love mixes with my loyalty, it's very hard for me to break it. And so even if it, you could be physically be draining me of everything. And because I love you so much, I will literally sacrifice everything for you. So it was to the point where I was sacrificing too much. Mm -hmm. Um, Like I was sacrificing my whole entire life. I didn't get to see my family. I didn't get to hang out with my friends. I was only allowed, yeah, like only allowed to hang out with her, but she lived, I lived in a different state from her at the time. And so when it got to the point where it's too much, Renee was like, okay, this is what we're doing. She's like, this is it. She's like, when you call me, make sure you don't like him no more. This is the game plan. This is done. This is over. Yeah. And sure enough, she comes pulling up, like, get in the car. And I'm like, get in the car. She's like, get in the car. She's like, pack your things. Get in the car. And I was like, put the dog. And she's like, grab the dog. Yeah, she climbed over the balcony. I was like, what are you doing? And I was like, there's I have that I have a key. She's climbing over the balcony. I'm like, I, I have a key. Like, don't climb over the balcony. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else would be like, crazy. That's what grown ass women do. <laughs> yeah. But we love to crazy. We we love a lot. We love a lot. Yeah. I think. It needs that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one of those situations where you you need somebody that's an outside source that has your back that goes, you're not, you have these blinders on. And obviously Renee was that person for you that went, listen, girl, this is bad. We got to get you the hell out. So kudos to you. Well, well the thing is, like, no doubt. You know, like, well, the thing is, like, you know how, like, you know, when we're in, like, in relationship and, like, we're vintage our girlfriends and stuff, and as much as the, like, you know, as friends, you want to do something, you want to get advice, you know, you don't want to, like, okay, do do something or say something, and then they turn back around and they go back to the dude, and you're kind of looking like the asshole or anything. Yeah. So, I mean, I was there at her confidant, listen to her, what she go through, you know, give her advice, you know, and be an ear, but I told her, you know, when things got really, really bad, I'm like, the moment that you call me, make sure you don't like them no more because I'm just going to like, okay, just brush off, they'll kiss and make up or whatever. But if you call me, that's it. <laughs> done is done. It, it does yeah. say a lot though. Like, um, I, I don't know, like Sahara, just so weird. Like call it Sahara, seven. <laughs> um, <laughs> like you, that you're open enough to like listen to your friend. And when you vent to a friend, you got to be expecting to hear what we're feeling back. You're like, what are you doing, dude? You're mm-hmm. so much worth, you're way worth what you're even looking at yourself as, you know what I mean? You're belittling yourself. And we we go through like where we're listening to our friends vent about the boyfriends and you're just like going, God, I, I want to give my opinion, but th- it's going to come up back and bite me in the ass because I'm going to tell you how I really feel. And then I'm going to look like I'm the asshole. Look. Exactly, yeah. Renee, you're going to look I mean, like the asshole. I, I, because- yeah, like I told her how I feel. I'm like, look, like, I don't like this. This is how I'm feeling, but I'm gonna respect your decision because if it makes you happy, if you like it, I love it. Yeah. Well, you probably saw she was not happy and you were like, this is not cool. And again, takes the outside source sometimes because you have those blinders on and it's like, you do. I've been the girl that had the blinders on and I've been in, in Renee's position as well. I've been yeah. both and they're both yeah. really complicated. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was gonna yeah. say is that I think that we've all been in those in the other position and where you are sitting and being in like that toxic and like you say I think we're too I, I'm a nurturer as well and so and I'm a fixer and so if I think that it's a constant then it's like that challenge of trying to fix it or trying to fix that person and it, sometimes it takes someone who truly loves you and from can see it from the outside to help because I think that we've all made excuses for the other person or done all of those things but it really gets to a point where one, you've had enough, and then also you have, it's great when you have somebody who really loves you and can see it and can, can and pull you out of it, so then you can see it, because a lot of times you just can't, when you're in it, you can't see it, you can't even see what the what the world looks outside of that bubble, because you've been in it for so long, you know, yeah. so that's and awesome, it, and I love that. Yeah, and it's like, I'd rather for her to be safe with me, knowing that she's safe and she could get herself together, whatever the case may be, until she's ready, you know, I'm yeah. not... Like, I rather for her to be safe with me. <laughs> I don't dress with people. I don't for her. <laughs> this loyalty. Well, yeah. Look at you now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And how dare any guy not not only not support your career but but thwart you away from it? And and you kept using the word allow. I hate that. I hear some people saying, "Oh, my wife lets me do this," or "My boyfriend get the hell out, let you." I don't let you do anything, and you don't ever let me. It's not. That's not how we live our lives on God TV and in real life. But I have to say. What's interesting to me is, again, to see you guys 
having such a close friendship. I can't wait to see you, how you work together in the ring. And I do have to go back to tag team wrestling because I have a question actually for Lisa and Mickey because I've seen you guys as singles competitors mostly. But what these girls are doing, and this is such a great time for tag team wrestling, especially for the women. What has been your experience and, and your thoughts on tag team wrestling? Like when you had to do it, how did it work out for you? It was interesting. And we've obviously had to wrestle in like tag team. Lisa actually was in a tag team where, and I think a lot like Lisa, you did stuff with Tori and Candace as a faction kind of stuff as well. So, but most of my career was all single stuff where they would align me with a girl for a little bit, you know, but it was never for any tag team championship. So I'm a selfish yeah. wrestler. It's all about me, baby. You know? No, <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What? When I got tagged with Brooke, they they put like you know because she was a little green, like you know didn't not, not very much experience, and so I would like on the side, um, not to stooge off the business so much, but I would go suplex, like I would call out like, hey, do this, do this, okay, okay, bring it, bring it to me, because you kind of like you're, you can kind of tell each other like, do this, do that, do that, and it's not like going. It's not choreographed, but I'll be honest. The thing I like about tag teaming, it was easier on my body, man. Ah, Doing a whole singles match, bumping and feeding and all this crap. And I'm like, going, oh, my God. And then I'm like, okay, here, I'm blown up. I am blown up. Here, you take her. <laughs> right? Man, as, a thick girl. Girl. as a thick girl, that is the true hallelujah. It's like when you watch the Royal Rumble and someone's like selling for a good 20 minutes and they're really just like, oh God. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. And I like how I like how you said there are like thick women. We need a little bit of a yeah, I'm a thick girl too. So I need a little bit, a little bit, an extra breather. Exactly. <laughs> you be like, okay. See, my thought is like, I was like, how am I gonna get? Sorry, I have a big backside, so I'm like, look. Yeah, you know, you got that. I'm like, look, look I need about an extra two minutes to figure out which way I'm gonna roll this backside to get up. Like, y'all gonna have to give me yeah, two minutes. Her backside is like bungo drum. <laughs> 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 that is not what we can talk about. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's a good thing it's a good problem it's a good thing, it is a good problem. yeah lisa your tag team partner was very famous for her derriere as well you and brooke were fantastic in impact wrestling you guys had again like like these ladies do you had such great chemistry in and out of the ring like you guys were buddies outside as well and you guys yeah, yeah we were very close and tight like with the relationships and stuff like that too like talking about that kind of stuff but when you get along with your tag partner um and, and your best friends and you're just like you have so much in common it's 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 not a lot of work you don't yeah. you know and you could joke about it like it's not like you're gonna get pissed off like oh you forgot to do this <laughs> i forgot this you kind of laugh about it oh, i forgot to do this whoopsie whoopsie yeah. but it's it's fun it's it's a more right. fun experience yeah yeah right? i would say that being friends and a tag team you know how to talk to each other so you could say it in a way that they could hear it and not get offended or they'll forgive you if they did get upset by what you said because they needed to hear it, you know, or whatever yeah. the case may be. I thought Lisa was going to say the old grizzled vet thing of going like, yeah, it was, it was so much easier for my career because I let the kid take all the bumps. That's it. <laughs> no, 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 it's true. It's true. Like you're much, you're half my age, dude. You freaking take the heat. I'll, I'll do the comeback. I go, uh, me bump and feed as fast as you because you're, yeah. you're way of, you weigh buck fifteen, yeah, one hundred and ten pounds. So like, yeah, so little, little in the middle, but we got much back. Me? Oh. Okay, so it's the exact opposite. It's because, so believe it or not, everybody always thinks because of the height difference. Like, I'm older, and I'm like, no, I'm actually younger than her. And then it's like with the with the bumping and feeding thing, like we were saying, that's the bumper and feeder. Because I'm like, you bump me, I was like, I'm huge. Like, I don't know, I don't know if you know this, but I'm huge. Like, Renee's here, and I'm here. And I'm also yeah. wide, and I'm like, come I on now. Like, because of like how the way I look, a lot of girls they think I'm a lot younger. <laughs> I'm like, no, honey. I think no, you just look a lot older. But okay, mm -hmm. yeah, right. yeah. no shade, honey. Like, there's a lot of them running around out here that Looking are very young. my age. Looking to be our age, and we're like, yeah. you know, we're in a very like, you're like 22, business. and we're like, huh? 
we're in a very exciting <laughs> business. And I was just about to ask you gals, because we, you know, we do like to do a little bit of light stalking when we have a guest on. And both of you have such gorgeous photos. I was going to ask, is that a part of the business that you like or that you dread? Because we've had this conversation before that when I was getting into wrestling, I wanted to do the photo shoots and I wanted to be the bikini babe and whatever. And Gail Kim always jokes that uh, she's the opposite, that she hated doing photo shoots. She hated having- I hated it too. Yeah, Lisa's not a fan. I'm yeah, how do you ladies feel about it? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm all for it. it. She's all for yeah. it. I'm the, <laughs> I like the glitz and the glam and looking pretty. And yes, I'm the tomboy. Yeah. I'm the retired collegiate soccer player. I don't do that. I used to be a tomboy, <laughs> believe it or not. Mm -mm. Give me, mm -hmm. give me a team picture, and that's it. That yeah. is it. I used to be, I used to be a tomboy, and I started getting into my girly traits when I hit my young twenties. So I was kind of yeah. like a newborn giraffe, you know? A little baby giraffe. <laughs> like, try, trying trying to figure it out. And then of course, like my mother, she put me at etiquette school and everything. So that helped out oh, a lot. she did? Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I love that. Wow. I only see that yeah. on movies. No, she she was like, when I say that I used to be a tomboy, I used to wear a big shirt, baggy jeans, Adidas tennis shoes, used to do break dancing with Intercar. Drifting. Drifting, street car racing. That's a What's thing. That? That's a thing where we're from. That's a like, thing. Back back in the day, I had a past life, so I was very much of a tomboy <laughs> in that aspect. And then, of course, I got into hot import nights. I was founded there. They're like, "Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a model?" And I'm like, oh, "I don't know." So they convinced me, and this is where I was trying to like figure out how to like wear heels. But of course, during that time, my mother she cut rid of all like my tomboyish outfits and put like dresses and skirts and all the other jazz. So because of like the hot and pornite doing the modeling and also like etiquette, you know, it helped me out a lot. So then um, by that time, I grew up doing martial arts as well. So I did Muay Thai, Taekwondo, Kung Fu, which is Chulipa, Capoeira. I also wow. done weapons, which is spear, staff, and size. So mm -hmm. I grew up doing that from four to 18. So I utilize a lot like, I guess like with wrestling, it helped me out a lot with that in that regards to, you know, because of my martial arts background. So when I was around in early to mid twenties, I actually wanted to do stunts, you know, to do like, you know, the martial arts and stunts like that. It just so happened. I was founded by Dwayne Gill and got into wrestling. Dwayne Gill, AKA Gilbert. Yeah. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. I know. So my I past know. is a little different. I was a tomboy. I played soccer. I was a computer nerd. Um, I had a 3.75 in GPA all the way to college. I played soccer my whole entire life. Um, I also had a past. Um, I did street racing, just like Renee. I also was, and you guys are going to hate this that I say this, I used to be a street fighter, so I used to fight people on the streets. Uh, yeah. You'd be all feisty and stuff. Yeah, so I used to be one of those girls that would go after, like, school and go fight the girl from the neighboring school, and they bet money on it, and I would get the money at the end of, like, that's the thing. So I, Yeah, that's a real thing. It's like Fight Club. So it was like, so... Yeah. Um, I was not supposed to talk girl. about Fight Club. It's like Fight Club. I know. But cool. now I can talk we talk about everything, everything. so I guess no you're more. allowed to. <laughs> yeah, There's yeah, no yeah. more. You're too pretty to be that. Anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was a tomboy. So I used to, like, leave soccer practice, and I'd leave. I'd go, go home real quick, shower, change, put on, like, all black, like, and, like, baggy shorts. You know, put on my brother's shorts or something like that. And I'd get in the car with my friends and we'd drive to the next neighbor in high school, meet this girl in the parking lot, in the senior parking lot, and we'd fight for money. Um, so I did that. <laughs> I was also a video game nerd. So I used to go to colleges in like the, uh, in my neighborhood, in like my little area and play these college kids in like Mortal Kombat, like Street Fighter and stuff like that. And I would literally take their money. <laughs> and, wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm so not proud. Why am I telling you? No, I, I don't. But, um, are you, are you on Twitch? Are you, are, you, are, you, are you on? Are you on Twitch as a gamer? You would make no, a lot okay, of money so being I, a gamer. I should. I. Everybody keeps telling me I should get on Twitch as a gamer, but um, I have not been on Twitch. I literally now just kind of like just play for myself because I feel like I get like kind of like intense, especially in Mortal Kombat. Nobody is beating me in Mortal Kombat. 
No one. Yeah, right. She, <laughs> that'll be the last time you see Renee Michelle. She beats me. Yeah, yes. you don't. You but, don't see me match some buttons yet, honey. I can match. But the um, shit out like of there buttons. is, there's a lot of uh, like you said, Twitch. I see a lot of things on Twitch that are for like a good cause. Like um, I don't know. There's this girl named Tara Callaway. She's also a worker. She's she works with Dropkick Depression. Um, and she's doing a uh, all girls gaming stream, so I'm looking to get into that. So that'll probably be my Twitch debut for uh-huh. that. So, but yeah, I went from a, a fighter. Yeah, I went from a street fighter who was a nerd who also was just like, you know, hey, I'm cute. But and then I got into wrestling um, with someone that Mickey might know, um, uh, Sean Lee, who is uh, Sean Lay, uh, who is the Jordy Bulldogs. So yes. uh, from Richmond, Virginia. So he found me and introduced me to C.W. Anderson and he trained me. Well, ladies, we have to tell you that we could we could be here all night talking to you lovely ladies, but we know you've got major tag team boss babe business. So let's do a thing where we talk about our final thoughts leading into Empower. I mean, the thing is, it's crazy. Lisa and I were saying just the other day, we've been talking about Empower for quite a long time, but now it's like really, really soon. Are you feeling the pressure? Right, How yeah. are you feeling going into this? I know it's a big historic night. But you've got to be excited, right? Oh, we're we're Super a little excited. too excited yes. over here. We're like, how many more days left? How many more days left? Let's go. Like we, we gotta, gotta we gotta get our body ready. Right. Like we gotta go to the gym. We gotta, we gotta do this. Body right. I'm like getting off work. I'm like running my dog. I'm like, let's go to the park. Come on, let's go. I need to bring these extra calories. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then like I'm all I'm all for it. We are all for it. I um I kind of just told her like last night when uh, it was mentioned last night on Twitter, um, I have her back like a sister and we're going into this thinking this is the fight for us. Like this is the fight for us, like basically to show everyone and show NWA and show the world, you know, what we are capable of. And not only are we good, you know, independent single competitors, but you know, we, yeah, women of color and we like have each other's back no matter what through and through. So, you know, I made the comment saying that no matter the outcome, she I got her back. She's my sister. So yeah. I feel like that's how we're going into this. Like, yeah, we're going into it. Two sisters. We're going to give it our all. We're going to fight. And hopefully we're going to walk out as the tag champions because Hell on Heels is it, baby. Yeah. The yeah. money. The savage. You yeah. got it. We, we look good and we bring it to the table. Every yeah. time. There you go. We look good beating people up. Like, that's our thing. We look good. But we also put the hurting on people and we just can't help it. We're just hot as hell. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way God made you, you know? Right. Yeah. Oh, I want y'all to win. I am sorry to the ladies that might be tuning in and, and trying to, you know, get in on their opponents and get their, their psyche, whatever. But I'll tell you, I hope that you guys win. I am so excited. This is going to be a historic night. Mickey, you know that the tag team championships are so important to all of the fans. But how are you feeling? I mean, Empower's close, you guys. It's real close. God. It's, yes. yeah. It's so close. It's like, I'm, it's, and it's coming in. It's uh, like now it's starting to pressure is on because obviously it's right around the corner. I'm really excited to have you ladies apart. I know you're going to shine. That's why I, I asked you to come and asked you to be there. I'm excited that we're bringing back the tag team championships and to give the women something else to fight for. Um, because again, it's been the, the only thing has been the women's championship up to this point and for the last 34 years. So I think it's really, really cool to be able to do that and to have it at this a historic night for women's wrestling and to celebrate women's wrestling and how far we've come all together. Like it's, it's definitely been a group effort to get here and I love you ladies. And it's going to be fucking oh, awesome. I love you. It's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the thing is like, yeah. the thing is like with us, like we look like money, we talk like money. And when we get in that ring, we will bring that money. Okay. Love mm-hmm. that. You heard it here okay. first on God TV. That is an exclusive. I love the confidence. These ladies are amazing. And you can stay up to date with all they're doing on the road to hashtag <laughs> power. By looking at the YouTube description, we're going to put all of their information there. We are going to head over to the after party at 6 p.m. Eastern, top of the hour, with all of our uh, patrons on patreon.com slash TV. But before we go, we want to raise a glass to these lovely ladies. Best of luck at NWM Power. I, I love you, ladies. You. I love you. I love you guys. Love My God. You. This was a great, like, one of the, the, the most fun interviews ever. Yeah, serious. Oh. So, we'll, we'll, we'll do plenty more if you like. <laughs> 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 <laughs>